Prince William and Kate Middleton know how to get down on the dance floor. It seems that Kate's more willing to let her guard down a bit and show us a bit more of the real Kate, not just the Duchess of Cambridge. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge kicked off their first full day of official engagements on their royal tour of the Caribbean in Belize on Sunday, showing off some of their best moves while visiting with the Garifuna community in Hopkins. <laughs> yep, that's William taking 57-year-old local Laura Cacho for a spin. And Laura, she loved it, telling royal reporters that the 39-year-old prince is a good dancer, adding that he shook his waist to the music and had beautiful rhythm. And Kate, she knows how to shimmy too. She now has a decade of, of royal experience under her belt, but even back at St Andrews, where of course this love story started, she was a very self-assured young woman. She knew where she wanted to go in life, and the women that she wanted to be, the principles that she had then are the principles that she stands by today. And she's always had a great sense of faith in herself. That's the mom of three shaking it, rocking a blue Tory birch dress, bold earrings, and wedge heels. People respect her, they look up to her, they admire her. She's very much seen as a role model. And I think we've seen more of the real Kate, the, the person behind the title, the HRH Duchess of Cambridge, than we, than we have done actually ever. There's very much a feeling that she's really begun to let her guard down. I think there is a new confidence about her. I think that comes with age. She is now 40. She is a very confident, poised, self-assured woman um, with a great sense of humour, a lot of talent. William and Kate took their tour off the dance floor too, stepping out for a walk on the beach and checking out a local cocoa plantation farm. But the couple's trip, which is in honor of Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee, got off to a rocky start after Kensington Palace confirmed it made a schedule change due to sensitive issues involving the Indian Creek community. According to Reuters, local villagers claim they were not consulted about William and Kate's visit to a farm in the Maya village and were upset that the royal couple was scheduled to land their helicopter on land that's at the center of an ownership rights dispute. In a nutshell, the village is at odds with Fauna and Flora International, a conservation group which lists Prince William as a patron. Local residents were snapped on Friday holding signs in protest, some of which called out the royal. But despite having to cancel one of the weekend's previous engagements due to the protests, the Duke and Duchess showed no signs of distress and kept their date with the dance floor.